I hope you're all ready uh, because I'm excited for this uh, next interview. And I know uh, our, our Greek god here, Aaron, Nick Papalopoulos, is excited too because Papagallus. the Greek festival is one of the best festivals in Arizona and it's celebrating 60 years of raising money for the community. So let's head out to the Holy Trinity Orthodox Church where the festival is. And Sandy, uh, this is day two of three and, and it was just amazing to have this festival back and you guys are so excited about it, aren't you? Oh my gosh, we really are. It's our 60th anniversary of the Phoenix Greek Festival. We are one of the oldest um, and biggest cultural festivals in the state. And we're super excited to be back after taking last year off, unfortunately. And we're back bigger and better than ever. And I like you're standing in literally a, a grocery store, uh, the Village Market, where you can get everything you want, right? Absolutely. Um, if you want, we can start talking about our food. And our food is um, fabulous. We say people come for the food, they stay for the dancing. Um, and if we, if a lot of this stuff you can buy in our Greek market to make your own. We do have cookbooks that we sell with our recipes, a lot of the recipes. Some of them are top secret, but we'll share some of them with you. Um, and then in the Greek market, yeah, you can purchase a lot of the stuff to buy um, to make some of these things. Right here we have our Greek pastries uh, that are made from scratch by hand by our Greek yayas, which is grandma in Greek, uh, baklava, which everybody knows and loves, melamokarona, gurembiedes, um, baksimavia, eat, hard to say, but very easy to eat. Um, <laughs> so we recommend that you finish your meal, for, certainly with some of our Greek pastries and desserts, but you want to start your meal off with, inside we have our, 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 um, our dinners, and we have our pastizo, which is like a Greek lasagna. It's got pasta and spiced meats with uh, tomato sauce and bechamel sauce. We have our lamb shank. Uh, we have over here our roasted chicken with lemon, olive oil, garlic, our uh, roasted Greek potatoes, green beans. And then we have some of these little favorites. This right here is a Greek meal. This is a beautiful Greek lunch right here. Feta cheese, kalamata olives, dolmades. Uh, we have spanakopita, tiropita. Of course, we have our famous gyros. Lukumadas, which is like a Greek donut. We encourage you to come over to our Kefenio, get a Greek frappe, which is an iced coffee. You can wash it all down with that. Also, we have our bars, which have imported ouzo. We have five-star ouzos and metaxa. Um, we have ouzo flights, imported Ooh. Greek beer and wine. Oh, yeah, we're ready oh, for you. Oh, Sandy, we're excited. And, and Aaron here, Aaron, who was there last night, um, and he's recovered here, he's our Greek god here at the studio. But Aaron, I think your mic is open and I, Sandy can hear you. What was the two dishes you told me I need to try today? Okay, well, hi Sandy, how's it going? Um, okay, you have to try the lucomatas, right? And then that plate with the chicken on it right there with either lamb or chicken. Okay. Those are did the two hear? things you need to go for. Did you hear that, Sandy? I did not. Tell me one more time. Say one more time, Aaron. Okay, the lucomatas and the okay. plate of oh, chicken yes, or lamb. absolutely. Yeah. Than the, just the yes. typical plate well, that we you get. Yes, absolutely. We showcase the chicken and lamb, but they are lukumades. Oh my gosh, those are so good. Those are, it's like a fried donut hole dipped in hot honey, uh, sprinkled with some cinnamon and garlic. Oh, cinnamon and garlic, sorry, cinnamon and sugar. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I eat a lot of those over the weekend. Oh, it's, yeah. it's not a good thing, but. I love it. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we get a big plate of and you share them with everybody. Yeah. Oh, good. yeah. Sandy, let's talk about this is also <laughs> a fundraiser to uh, help out the community. And that's what people have to realize that this festival for 60 years has given back to the wonderful community around the church, haven't they? Yes, absolutely. I mean, one of the things part of being a church is is our um, is our call to outreach into the community and to go and help those in need. Um, our youth groups do a lot of volunteer work. Um, soup kitchens. You Mom is one of the um, organizations, which is a shelter for homeless families that we work a lot with them. Um, our women's organization, our auxiliary group, they support uh, kids in cancer, and they actually put on a, um, a summer camp for kids and their families who are um, battling cancer. Um, a lot of other different charities that we support too throughout the year. And so this festival helps enable us to um, continue those outreach missions to the community. And we're, we're very happy that we're able to do that. It also really allows us to open our doors to the community, welcome people into our church property so that we can share our culture um, and our heritage and of course our cooking with the community. 
Um, one of the ways that we do that, um, Greeks are very celebratory people. We're very hospitable people. We really want you to come to the festival and have a really good time. We want to feed you. <laughs> we want to dance with you. And so we have live music throughout the weekend with continuous, well, continuous live music and Greek dance performances um, every single hour. And those dance performances are made up of kids from our own church. We have about 100 youth from our church that participate in the dance group all the way from preschool all the way up through college and above. Um, and they're, they're wearing authentic costumes from Greece, performing these dances with such passion and such energy. Um, it's contagious, and the dance performances are very exciting. We, we encourage everyone to kind of come out and take a look at those for yeah. sure. Yeah, you know what, Sandy, I highly recommend it. And we're going to pop up the information right here. It is today, Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Church, starting at 11 a.m. until 10, then tomorrow from 11 a.m. Yes. I highly recommend people to get tickets, but the best part I like about this, and I know i got to wrap up, Sandy, is that I like to post up, as we like to say, with the elders and sit and talk with them during this festival because they're so knowledgeable and they're great and they're open and talk to you about the culture and everything. It's wonderful. So you will see me out there later on today. Yep. So. Good. Oh, oh I look forward to it. Come find me. I will. Opa. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank All you right. so much. Thank you, Sandy. You got to go out there. You see me. I'll be there with the elders. I'm going to wear my hat, my elder hat and everything. So we're going to be fun.